Almost a year ago, um, Daryl Reese, who lived for many years uh, between New York and Hong Kong, approached me about a collaboration uh, with John Thompson, who had been studying for over 20 years the Chinese classical silk string zither called the Gu Qin, and also the visual artist um, Howard Finkelson, who has extraordinary um, photo abstracts. I see these three elements as coming together. I hear John's music, uh, and he and I selected the pieces, uh, and these are pieces of music notated hundreds of years ago. And one of the things that intrigued me about it is it's the only non-Western instrument which has a substantial written tradition predating Western influence. It's written in a kind of tablature which uh, tells you finger positions, um, stroke techniques, and ornamentation to use. Um, but it doesn't tell you how long the notes are because it was actually an oral tradition. You'd learn by copying your teacher. But they wrote down in great detail all this music. and um, in the 50s, there was a project in China to start to reconstruct that, and I became very interested in that. And basically what I'm doing is playing music which I have reconstructed from 15th and 16th century Chinese tablature. It's a fusion piece, so it's really th three different artists. There's, there's choreography, music, and dance. Uh, originally, the, uh, the, um, the choreography was made to the music, and the music has a story behind it. And then at one point, the, uh, the abstraction and the, and the energy of the, of the slide just kind of fit in, but there was no real, no real, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, we aligned the slides to a certain extent, but after a while, it just kind of, kind of goes, and, and, and uh, the music and the dance and the motion and the visuals are sort of fit together in the, as, a, as one kind of a fusion unit. Well, I've been influenced uh, in large part by all the abstract artists of this century, people like, uh, like Pollock and de Kooning and Rosenquist and Kandinsky, and uh, I always love their, uh, their take on things. De Kooning always said that in all the abstractions, even though it looks very, 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 very uh, non-figurative, there's a landscape there if you look very carefully. And, and uh, this guy Rosenquist said uh, he always felt that you could make big things out of little things. So what I did was I walk around and see little things and blow them up very, very big. And they're like huge brush strokes and uh, kind of like art without the artist. And I'm just there to observe it. And I use the camera as a uh, composition tool rather than a high-tech thing. No, no, no tripods or lights or backpacks. Just a little point-and-shoot camera that I see and then I compose in the camera. I frame it and blow it up. I play with movement very much the way a sculptor would with clay. It's very interesting to me uh, to, because almost all the music I play, nobody else plays. It's a special feeling to think that on the one hand I'm communicating with ancients in a way because I'm playing their music. 
and uh, it's it's a it's a quite a rare thing. To me, a collaboration is always discovery and, and risk, but the rewards usually are very great.